Welcome back to our channel, Familiar Garcia Mix. For today's video, we will be talking about the different disorders of the genitourinary system. With simple questions, with answers and rational. Let's start. A client is hospitalized for bladder cancer. He is scheduled for ileal loop surgery to create a urostomy. Which information is most important for the nurse to include in a teaching plan for this client when learning to change his urostomy appliance? 1. Change the appliance before going to bed. 2. Cut the wafer 1 inch larger than the stoma. 3. Cleanse the peristomal skin with mild soap and water. 4. Use firm pressure to attach the wafer to skin. Answer Number 3 Cleansing the peristomal skin is critical to maintenance of skin integrity. An elderly client has just returned to the nursing unit after a transurethral resection. He has a three-way indwelling urinary catheter for continuous bladder irrigation connected to straight drainage. Immediately after surgery, what color of urine does the nurse expect in the catheter bag? 1. Clear 2. Light yellow 3. Pink or dark red 4. Bright red Answer number 3 the urine is expected to be pink or dark red for up to 36 hours after a transurethral resection. An elderly man has just returned to the nursing care unit following a transurethral resection. He has a three-way indwelling catheter with a continuous bladder irrigation. He tells the nurse he has to void what is the most appropriate nursing action. 1. Allow him to void around the catheter. 2. Irrigate the catheter. 3. Notify the physician. And 4. Remove the catheter. Answer number 2. Blood clots obstructing the catheter can produce the sensation of needing to void. Irrigating the catheter will remove any blood clots allowing the urine to drain freely. A young adult is admitted to the hospital with a diagnosis of acute renal failure. She is oligoric and has proteinuria. She asks the nurse, how long will it be until I start to make urine again? 1. 1 to 2 days. 2. 3 to 7 days. 3. 1 to 2 weeks and 4, 3 to 4 weeks. Answer number 3. The oligoric period in acute renal failure is usually 1 to 2 weeks. A young man is admitted in chronic renal failure and is placed on hemodialysis three times a week, which is an attainable short-term goal for this person when he is placed on hemodialysis. 1. Understanding the treatment and its implications. 2. Independence in the care of the AV shunt. 3. Self-monitoring during dialysis. 4. Recording dialysate composition and temperature. Answer number one. Prior to the start of dialysis, the client should fully comprehend its meaning and the changes in lifestyle required. A female client is to have a urine culture collected. 
what are the correct instructions the nurse will give the client for collecting a clean catch urine specimen. 1. Separate the lobia. Clean from front to back with the three wipes impregnated with a cleaning solution and then start to void in the toilet. Stop and finally continue to void into the sterile container. 2. Retract the foreskin. Cleanse with the three cleansing sponges and start to void. Stop and finally continue to void into the sterile container. 3. Separate the lobia. Clean from back to front with three wipes impregnated with a cleaning solution and then start to void in the toilet. Stop and finally continue to void into the sterile container. 4. Retract the foreskin. Clean with soap and water and then start to void. Stop and finally continue to void into the sterile container. Answer number one. Women should separate the lobby, clean from front to back, and then proceed to void into the toilet. Stop and finally continue to void into the sterile container. The nurse is to collect a urine culture specimen from a catheterized client. Which one of the following statements describes the nurse's actions for this procedure? 1. With a sterile syringe, the nurse aspirates 50 ml of urine from the silicon catheter tubing. 2. With a sterile syringe, the nurse aspirates 1 to 3 ml from the sampling port of the catheter after first cleaning with alcohol. 3. With a sterile syringe, the nurse aspirates 1 to 3 ml from the distal end of the catheter after first cleaning the sampling port with soap and water. 4. The nurse disconnects the catheter from the tubing and allows a small volume of urine to drain into a sterile container. Answer number 2. Several milliliters of urine for culture can be aspirated with a 21-gauge needle and 3 ml syringe after the sampling port or the distal catheter has been swabbed with alcohol or iodine swabs. The urinary catheter and drainage system should remain a closed system to prevent infection. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated on our next video. Thank you so much. God bless. Have a great day. Yeah.